Yeah, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. As you can see here, the space station is still in orbit. And as you can see up here, its fuel supply has been completely refilled. It is ready to go, and we are ready for the next phase of this mission in which Kenwick Kerman, Mountsor Kerman, Halleck Kerman, and Lodgas Kerman have an adventure ahead of them. And so we will adjourn to the Space Center for the next phase of this flight. We have the Lander S1 and that's basically this part of the vehicle up here. We have the small one-man capsule and a uh, docking port that's been fitted on there. It's the large docking port which means it doesn't exactly quite look right on this capsule but it's necessary because the space station has large docking ports. It doesn't have the Clampatron, the Clampatron Juniors on there. This is a small short-range lander for making trips to low gravity situations and so on. It has SAS, advanced SAS, RCS fuel and a uh, 400 liter fuel tank and the LV909 LV engine, thrusters, landing legs and so on. And then below that we have the ship that is going to deliver it to the space station with a uh, two-man lander can which I assume is going to be unmanned at launch and uh, RCS advanced SAS and the large fuel tank and the poodle engine and then what is pretty much quickly becoming my standard launch vehicle which is the large tank with six booster stages liquid fuel uh, arranged with asparagus type staging I did add one thing. I added a small tank here below the large tank and I've added struts between the tanks to hold them in place. To hold everything stable and keep it from wobbling around too much. Uh, it does occur to me, speaking of struts, that I didn't apply any to the uh, booster stages here. so. I should do that real quick. Ah. Control Z. Get rid of that. there. Much better. And one more set here. I'll tell you what, these stripes on the tanks actually help when it comes to lining things up. All right. And we've got struts on the top, so that looks good. All right, let's get this sucker launched. We need to launch... I'm going to need to launch two of these to dock with the space station. I want two of these small landers docked on that four-way uh, docking node in the middle. Two small ones, and then after that, two larger landers. So, let's go. All right, here we are. Launch pad. We have Edvin Kerman piloting this mission. Now let's take a quick look out here. There's the space station. Let's warp time ahead. We need the space station in at least an approximate position for rendezvous. We're launching from here. We need the space station to be about here or so, I think, when we launch. So we'll just time warp that thing around. Perfect. That should be just about right. 
And this gives us a Dawn launch. All right. Let's check this out. What the heck? This looks like a landed booster from an earlier flight that actually didn't blow up on impact. How about that? Oh, well, we'll leave it there. It's not in the way, or it would have been cleared when I cleared the launch pad. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, find controls on, and let's throttle to about 80%, and we go. We have a good solid takeoff, plenty of control. First booster's leaving us in a minute. There they go. Accelerating smoothly, gaining altitude. Second set of boosters going away soon. Throttling up. All right, I'll back off that throttle a little bit. Okay, our boosters are gone. Passing through 10,000, we begin our gravity turn. There we go. Very good. I see us back off. How's our apoapsis shaping up? 26 and climbing. Very good. Oh, come on, get back on course, get back on course. Back on a 90. There we go. All right, how are we doing out here? Cut. Very good. Adding a maneuver to circularize orbit. I don't suppose I actually need a maneuver for this. I mean, I do know how to do it, but what the heck. Let's just try a little bit of planning. Don't have a lot of time. All right, 90 kilometer orbit. What was the periapsis projected as? 105 by 90. Okay, that's that's okay. That'll that'll do. Back over here, RCS on. Flip this bird over.
get off of target mode. We want orbit mode. Very good. We have a burn in 10 seconds, and it's time. Let's do it. Uh, staging was nerfed a little bit there. I accidentally hit V instead of space. Okay, our first intersect will have us 68, 65 kilometers away. Our second one will have us 18 kilometers away from the target. As long as we can stay on our uh, blue vector marker here. There we are. I'm definitely burning late. I took too long setting up the maneuver, but I think we'll be all right anyway. Now the way this mission profile goes is that Edvin will pilot the ship up to and dock with the space station. He will then EVA and go to this capsule, separate from the lander, and return to Kerbin. At least that's the plan. Roughly another 30 seconds, 37 seconds of burn left. We'll see how close we actually get to our intended flight. Ten seconds remaining. All right. Cancel the maneuver node. Let's see how this turned out. Apoapsis 221, periapsis 16,000. This is not so good. We are losing altitude badly. What the? Alright, that's the right camera mode. I have a feeling that this launch may have to be done again. Okay. Look at what we've done with the apoapsis. Arg. We are now, however, past periapsis, continuing to go up, and that apoapsis will drop down as we're passing through the atmosphere, we'll get some aero braking out of that. Our fuel is low, but I think serviceable. And I should, I should have thought this before, but I'm disabling flow from this upper fuel tank. That lander needs to have its own fuel. 
and we need not we need to not burn it while we're on the way to deliver it. All right. Well, that intersection's not going to do. We're way off here. And we're out of plane. Not an awful lot, but enough that you can see it. About 1.8 degrees. All right, so I guess the thing to do well, I need to wait until I'm up out of the atmosphere and then plan a maneuver at Apoapsis to bring the periapsis up to about 95 and then another one at periapsis to bring the apoapsis down to 95. All right, almost up out of the atmosphere. And while I'm thinking about it, Alt-L engages the staging lock to prevent accidental staging, because at this point that would be bad. All right, we're high enough to be out of the atmosphere, so let's swing around here. Add a maneuver. Ninety six looks good. So, go ahead and get into position. Once I find it. Okay, RCS off. We're in position for the burn. We'll just time warp around to it. It's a short burn. So let's go. Okay, back off the time acceleration the rest of the way. We have an estimated three seconds of burn. I think it'll probably end up being longer than that. In any event, I will light the engines at five seconds. A little bit of time acceleration to get there. Okay, cancel the maneuver node, and how's the periapsis? 100. Okay, I'm going to fix that. RCS on, and let me make sure which ones I'm using here. Okay, now watching the periapsis, RCS to bring it back down, 
to 96. Ninety five triple nine. That's good enough for me. RCS off. All right, now at periapsis, we'll set up a maneuver to bring the apoapsis down. I have 129, need to bring it down some more. A hundred by ninety. Ninety-eight by eighty-seven. I'm going to call that good enough. Fine tune that just a little bit and we'll warp around to the next burn 25 minutes from now. Getting close. Four minutes out. I'm going to burn at 15 seconds because the burn is estimating 27 seconds long. You want roughly half of the burn to be before and half of it after the actual estimated time to burn. So I'm going to burn at 15 seconds. Almost time. Burning. Okay, looks like this should do it. perfect but it'll do actually at 98 95 by 98 looks better So we'll get into position for that. I'm rolling heads up just simply because it bugs me when I'm not. Although I don't have time to monkey around too much here, it's almost time for the burn. Very short one, though. Yeah. 
And here we go. Lock that down. And warp ahead two minutes. This will be a quick one. Not bad. Ninety-nine by ninety-six. That's good. All right, now. It's time for the waiting game. Orbing around, getting the intersections closer each time. Wait a minute, what's our... Uh, oh, we still need to do a plane change. We're 1.8 degrees out of plane. Almost there. Okay, this burn should put us dead on plane with the target. And we'll be burning south because it's the ascending node. Burn in seven minutes. Another short one. Warping time ahead. And after this burn, it will definitely be time for the waiting game. Okay. That's 0, 0.0 at ascending node. That tells the relative inclination. The difference in the inclination between our orbit and the target orbit is zero. So we're exactly on plane with the target. Now, it's just a matter of warping around until the intersect distance closes to something that we can work with for a rendezvous. That is going to take a while. I'll come back when we're there. All right, the mission elapsed time is now two days, four hours and 18 minutes. And our guy has been patiently orbiting around, slowly catching up to the space station. And you can see right here, we have an intersect com intersection coming up in 16 minutes, about 6.7 kilometers apart from the space station. So it's time. We're in target mode on the nav ball. It's time to get in position. 
start following the relative velocity retrograde marker so that when the time comes we can kill the relative velocity between us and the space station and proceed with the rendezvous. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to check back in when we're almost to the point where we need to kill that velocity and start actual uh, rendezvous maneuvers. All right, we're now about 30 seconds out from the rendezvous point. We're just about in position. And you can see up there, there's the uh, space station, 6.3 kilometers away. So now let's kill that relative velocity. All right. Now at this point, swing around facing the station and then turn heads up and go into docking mode. And I realize that rotating heads up is not actually 100% necessary, but I prefer that orientation. But for one thing, the translation thrusters will be backwards if I'm not heads up, or they'll be off in some way or another. Okay. Docking mode. Thrusting towards the target. Well, maybe not too much here. Oh, that's right. Camera and chase mode. Bring our velocity vector up here so that we're actually moving more in the way of towards the space station directly. Rotate a little bit. Continues rusting. And get this green, yellow, or whatever marker directly over the pink one. And that way it will be lined up. And all I have to do is just use translation thrusters to keep it that way while approaching. I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue this, and uh, because the video is getting on the long side already, I'll cut back in when I'm close enough to actually uh, get some docking maneuver action going on. All right, we're now less than 90 meters from the station. I should be able to select a docking port now. All right, we have docking ports selected. And now let's see about getting lined up with it.
it's tricky because now I have to uh, this little gold marker on the nav ball I have to maneuver the ship so that this pink marker settles on it and that will line me up with the docking port help if I didn't keep hitting the wrong thruster set. to kill that velocity. Tricky. I have to keep the movement nice and slow now. Proceeding forward to the docking port. I have to say that it somewhat helps that before I started this mission, I uh, set the space station aligned pointing north and south. Okay, we're just about there. Eight meters. Had to back off. Try it again. Up a little bit, forward, back off, All right, we're just about lined up. I made a mistake of trying to do this by eyeball, and I know better. I 
I should have been flying the nav ball. SAS off, RCS off. No, we're not docked. Not gone it. I thought we were. All right. What happened was that I hit the bloody station. Center of the orange marker, pink marker, whatever it is. Cancels that movement. Line up vertically. Well, relative vertical. This really isn't this hard. I don't know why it's being such a so-and-so blankety-blank this time. Okay, we have a docking happening here. All right, we are docked. Excellent. Check the status of the lander that we're delivering. Monoprop is full. Main fuel and oxidizer is full. All right. SAS off. A little wobbling going on here. Where is our crew hatch? Okay, Edvin Kerman, it's your turn to go EVA. Wrong direction there, boy. Okay, he's got to get up there to the crew hatch. Okay. Over. Yeah. 
What's going on here, Edwin? What are you doing to me here, boy? Just get him to that blasted thing. These EVA thrusters are so touchy. Get him to this ladder piece. Oh, come on, Edwin, you're killing me. Problem is, I can't seem to rotate him. To get him actually facing the thing I need him to face. Okay. Get it done there, boy. Get in there. I had him. I had that sucker in there.
There's a ladder unit right there, and I can't seem to select it. Probably because I'm not switched to the station. I may have to switch to the station in order to select that thing and extend it. And hopefully if I do that, Edvin here won't drift very far. I got him. Boarding the ship. All right. I'll tell you what, Edwin, that was a real pain in the butt. You don't get to go EVA anymore. Control from here. Make sure you're aboard. Wait, you're not there. We want control from here. SAS is supposed to be off. All right. All right, he's aboard. All right. Decouple. Switching to Edvin. SAS on thrusters on and let's back away from this thing all right Get lined up retrograde, we'll take this thing back in. Which we're just about actually lined up. Okay, docking mode off. And let's fire it up and burn them home. Back to free camera. Space station's falling away, or actually we're falling away from the space station. Well, it didn't take much to guarantee a re-entry. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and burn the rest of the fuel, because why not? Oh, calm down, Nedvin. You get to go home. Okay, we're out of fuel. We coast. A little bit of time acceleration here. Speed that up.
And I just thought of something here. Oh boy, design fail. There should be a decoupler between this capsule and the ASAS, and there isn't one. Go ahead and decouple that little thing. Well, I guess it is decoupled. Parachutes. Let's hope the parachutes are enough. Three parachutes deployed. Ship is heavy, but it's empty. It's out of fuel, so we'll see. All right. The rest of it fell away when the parachutes deployed. Edfin, you, you live to fly another day. Congratulations. You survive. I have to admit, I thought there for a moment he wasn't going to. But, there we have it. One successful lander mission to the space station. Our pilot, though he was a terrible spacewalker and had a little problem with his ship, that it will be redesigned, and then I will... Uh, I will fly another of these missions to get another one of those small landers attached. And then next time, we'll get a large heavy lander lift, uh, lifted up there and docked to the space station. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.